What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Cam ATL. Shout out to the DFS squad. Shout out to everybody watching this video right now. Drop a like down below because I already know you're going to love it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys for joining me as always. Comment anything in the comment section down below to enter your name into the $50 giveaway that I do every single week on this channel. By the way, I will be announcing last week's winner of that down in the comment section. I will be typing out their name. Um right after this video is over so scroll down when you're watching this video and see if you're the winner if you are hit me up on twitter at cam underscore atl to get the money all right also i will be doing another code word giveaway for today the playoffs are starting it is a beautiful day we have nba playoffs and mlb that we've been smashing lately so let's go ahead and just smash both and let's have a fantastic day after this nba video i will be switching over and doing mlb so stay tuned that mlb video will be posted right after this but anyways yes so the code word if you're new to this I will say a code word at a random point in this video. Not going to let you know when. It's not going to necessarily be at the end, the beginning, the middle, whatever. It's random. All right? I will randomly say a code word. You don't comment that code word in the comment section down below. Do not hit me up on open Twitter. DM me at cam underscore ATL in the inbox. The code word. And I'll be selecting one of you to get free access to greenlightdfs.com today. All right? So let's go ahead and get straight into it. All right, pay attention for that code word. We're going to do DraftKings and FanDuel because I am on the green light optimizer. As you guys see, I'm going to be doing my videos like this from now on. Um, and we're going to get straight to it. All right, so I'm going to do DraftKings and FanDuel. Let's start off with DraftKings and let's go through the guys that I love the most. Now, as you can see, the best value on the slate is going to be Jordan Clarkson. All right, plain and simple. Mike Conley went left the bubble for the birth of his child. He mentioned before they went to the bubble that there was a very good possibility that, that would occur. With that happening, Jordan Clarkson is going to be a starter and be a fantastic play at only 3-8. It is a pricing issue. Um, they definitely did not realize Conley was going to be out before they priced him. And at 3-8, Jordan Clarkson is damn near locked. All right. Speaking of value, let's go ahead and talk about value while I have the point per dollar value up. Royce O'Neal, another fantastic value. We have Mike Conley out. Royce O'Neal should be starting at only 3-5. He's actually been playing very solid in the bubble. He has been pretty damn solid in the bubble, and we don't need much at 3-5. If he gets us 17-20, to 20, we'll be happy. You know what I mean? So Royce O'Neal is a solid option. As you can see, project, uh, Optimizer has him right around 23. Jordan Clarkson are in around 27. I think Clarkson could end up around 28 to 30, but 26 is a safe route to go there. Um, another good value on this slate, Mark Gasol at 4-3. Absolutely love Mark Gasol, but the high five is going to start off with Jordan Clarkson. All right, Mark Gasol gets to go against Brooklyn. Fantastic matchup down low. We all know that already. Um, I love Mark Gasol in that matchup at only 4-3. He definitely seems like a solid, solid option. All right, so Jordan Clarkson starts it off. Absolutely love my boy. And then let's go ahead and talk bigs because there's multiple bigs that I like on this slate today. All right, so let's talk about bigs. Now, Joel Embiid's at the very top projected-wise. He is 10-2, though. He is expensive. He's facing a solid defense in Boston, but Joel Embiid is Joel Embiid, so completely still understand him. Um, love him in GPPs because I could possibly see his ownership going low-ish with the other amazing options on the slate. Let's get to those amazing options. Jokic at 8-7, still missing a few guys on this team. Really love him here at only 8-7. Jokic is a player that should be over 10K. The fact that he's only 8-7 is ridiculous. All right? Ridiculous. So plain and simple, Jokic is in a fantastic spot here at 8-7. I really, really love Nikola Jokic. Next up, Christos Porzingis. Both of these guys are high five, all right? So I like Jokic in utility or Porzingis in utility, but both of these guys are fantastic plays in my mind. Jokic, just matchup is there. Christos Porzingis has been balling. He's a walking 50, plain and simple. He is a walking 50. Now he gets this fantastic matchup against the Clippers, who I, you guys know how I feel about bigs against the Clippers. Against Zubak? Zubak is way too slow. His, he moves his feet way too slow to handle a guy like Christos Porzingis out there. All right, so Christos Porzingis is going to ball out here against the Clippers. Absolutely love him. Dallas is going to need Porzingis to have a big game to be able to beat. If they're going to be able to beat the Clippers in this series, it's going to be because Christos Porzingis has a big game. Because we know Doncic's going to have his games. 
It needs to be because Christos Porzingis has a big game. Because uh, Paul George and Kawhi Leonard could possibly, they're going to do whatever they can do to limit Doncic. That should open up Porzingis to having a solid game here at center. Um, really, really love him. I think he should really shine here at 8-3. Um, so we so far we have Jordan Clarkson, Royce O'Neal for value in the high five. Then we have Jokic and Porzingis. And then last but not least, you can't forget about playoff P, Paul George. I love Paul George in playoff environments. The dude is ultra competitive and really just becomes an absolute monster when the playoffs begin. All right, plain and simple. The matchup is there against Dallas. Only 8-1. I think his floor is a slightly over 40. I think he's got the potential. to. I think he's most likely, the most likely outcome is going to be 45-50, to 50, which is why we have him projected at 47. Fantastic option. Fantastic value. Absolutely love my boy Paul George. All right? And to sum it up, before we go over to FanDuel, it was Jordan Clarkson. All right? Boom. Jordan Clarkson. Royce O'Neal is value. All right, then two bigs, Jokic, Porzingis, and then finishing it off with small forward Paul George. That is the high five for NBA. Let's go ahead and go over here to FanDuel. Before I start the FanDuel, let's do code word Clarkson. All right, hit me up with Clarkson. You can say Jordan Clarkson or Clarkson, doesn't matter. Clarkson. All right, to my DM, at Cam underscore ATL on Twitter, and I will randomly be selecting one of you to get free access to GreenLightDFS.com. Do not do it in open comments down below or open Twitter. Make sure you DM it to me. All right? Now, let's look at FanDuel. FanDuel pricing is a little bit different over here. All right? I love seeing Joel Embiid at 8.5. Look at this. Look at this. 10-2 DK. 8.5 FanDuel. The price difference is ridiculous. Ridiculous. So I am leaning Embiid slightly over on FanDuel, just period, just pricing-wise. Point per dollar, just the difference between the sites is criminal. 8-5 for Joel Embiid, I absolutely love him. Not super interested in paying 10-2 for Luka at this, mom at this moment right now, but uh, I'll consider it. We'll look at it. Still like Christos Porzingis over here, but the main guys that I really like is Joel Embiid at 8-5. That's the first guy I'll probably start off with because his price is so crazy over on FanDuel. Jordan Clarkson is still in play over here at 4-4. All right. I do love Josh Richardson and Al Horford, but Jordan Clarkson is definitely the high five guy. All right. Now let's look at these other spots. Let's go ahead and look at point guard. All right. Over here at point guard, Jamal Murray at 6-1 is just criminally cheap. 6-1, I mean, I, I see 35 to 40 points, which... That'll, that'll show you, 36. So he is projected at 6x. Really love Jamal Murray. He's a very solid option today. He's just a little bit too cheap. Pair him up with Joel Embiid. And then pair uh, put together some Jordan Clarkson. And then most likely, I'll be going some Paul George over here as well at 8-1. Um, just solely on the fact that he's $200 cheaper than Karis LeVert. Now I get it. Karis LeVert is the big dog over on Brooklyn right now. His usage is crazy, blah, blah, blah. But here's the thing. This is playoffs now. All right, this isn't just bubble games. This is playoffs. Now, in playoffs, teams do a lot more to plan for you and strategize for you. Who, other, who on Brooklyn do they need to stop to win this game easily? LeVert. There's nobody else on this team. They need to make everybody else on this team beat them except for Levert. So if they keep Levert in check, they know it's going to be an easy series. And I think it's going to be an easy series regardless. This is one that's going to be easily won by Toronto. But, uh, yeah, Karis Levert, I'm not very interested in playing him because, like I said, yes, the usage is still going to be there. Problem is, is that this entire Toronto team is game planning for him. So that he's, he's going to have a lot of double teams. And is he good enough to ball out being doubled the whole game? I don't know. All right. Now, why not? Just for shits and giggles, let's check out Yahoo because the, hey, Greenlight Optimizer has it, so why not? Anybody who plays Yahoo, first looks over here. Embiid and Jokic are fairly close price over here too, so Embiid and Jokic are both in play. You could play either one of those guys are perfectly fine for me. Um, let's see what we got. Carux is too cheap at 10, 000, at 10, uh, uh, 10 000. a price of 10 over on yahoo that is extremely cheap for a guy who's going to get solid minutes and on an extremely thin brooklyn team the matchup's not ideal against toronto but just situation is there and at only 10 i'll take that all right next up um let's see how much is jordan clarkson over here 
Jordan Clarkson's 15, so they actually maneuvered his price a little bit, but he's starting regardless. I would play him regardless over over here as well. Um, let's take a look at Paul George. All right, Paul George is 36, so he's a bit up there. Uh, also, Fred Van Vliet is a play that I also love today as well. Um, Tyler Johnson, decent value over here at 10. Uh, they're going to need somebody to do something. But, yeah, that's about it. There you go. Pretty much, we've covered all of the sites, DraftKings, FanDuel, and Yahoo. Good luck, y'all. GreenlightDFS.com. Join the squad, and let's get to this money, man. Follow me on Twitter, at Cam underscore ATL. Make sure you drop a like down below and comment anything to enter your name into the $50 giveaway. And I'm out, y'all. Peace.